Now, on high tide. Jesse invited us to a surfing expo. Then you weren't notified of the accident? They were on a yacht searching for a sunken treasure. I don't think it was an accident. What do you mean? Oh, baby. God, you've got such a suspicious Look, mind. I can't just walk away from you. There stop are some it? things you should know. Are you telling me Jesse's body arrived at the hospital half an hour before the boat ever docked? I got the call from Jesse on a Thursday. I hadn't heard his voice in almost 15 years. He acted as though it had been just yesterday. That was Jesse. Not a word about the last time we'd seen each other, about the fight. Jesse had organized a surfing expo in Palm Beach, Florida for charity. He said I should bring my board and my brother. Before we even hung up, the tickets were delivered to my door. Typical Jesse. Pays for us to come all the way out here and forgets to pick us up at the airport. Well, we were a little early. 10 minutes early, an hour ago. Did you try calling? Yeah, machine. Well, maybe there's no surfing benefit after all. Maybe this is all Jesse's revenge. Well, you did break the guy's jaw. I didn't break his jaw. It was an accident. That's not how I remember it. How could you remember anything? You weren't even 10 years old. I remember more than you think. I wonder if she's still with him. I hadn't really thought about it. Hmm. Sure. Hey, remind me to look into charity work when we get home, huh? Mick and Joey Barrett? We're here for Jesse? Everyone's out in the garden. Garden party. Cool. Jeez, who died? Jesse Drake, real nice guy. I've worked several parties for him. Sad.
Hey, uh... Excuse me. I understand you are friends of Jesse's. I'm Dr. Dean Wilkins. Hi, I'm Mick Barrett. This is my brother, Joey. Oh. Hi. Jesse invited us to a surfing expo. Then you weren't notified of the accident? No, we weren't. No. This must come as quite a shock. You could say wow. that, yeah. You always did know how to dress for an occasion, Mickey. Just would have approved. Hello, Claire. Hi, Mick. It was a diving accident. A diving accident? He was with Dean, the man he just met, Dr. Wilkinson. They were on his yacht searching for a sunken treasure. Too mad you missed the funeral. It was lovely. Yeah, I'm sorry, Claire. I... For what, Mick? Missing the funeral or for the last 15 years? Both. He still talked about you, you know. All these years, he never forgot you. I never did either. Claire, the uh, tailors were about to leave. Oh, um, Mason, uh, this is Mick Barrett. Hi, Mason, how are you? Mick Barrett, right. The guy who broke Jesse's jaw. <laughs> Mason was Jesse's business partner. I didn't break his jaw, it was an accident. Yeah, Jesse said you went off to be a cop. It's funny, you know, you don't look like a cop. <laughs> I'm not anymore. An accident, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me something, just what were the two of you doing on the roof of my dorm building? If I remember rightly, we were fighting over you. Claire, um, the tailors. Uh, yeah, tell them I'll be right there. So, um, you gonna stay around for a few days anyway? Oh, I don't know, Claire. I'd love to catch up. Yeah, me too. Okay. See ya. How's Yoko? No, don't call it that. Well, that's what you used to call it. Yeah, well, I was wrong. Oh, well, Mick, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. No, it's OK. Did you find out anything? Yeah, supposedly a diving accident. Supposedly? You think something's hinky? Jesse would never have gone diving. Let me guess. That's not the room service menu from the hotel room, is it? I stopped by a county coroner's office. Boy, oh, you're so much fun on vacation, Hold Mick. On. Check it out. Jesse's body arrived at Palm Beach General at 6.30 the night he died. Wilkinson had already pronounced him dead at the scene. Sounds pretty straight up, Mick. Maybe, but then I went to check the marina. Well, that's an improvement on the morgue. I wanted to see if the boat Jesse was on that day even went out at all. Did it? Yeah, according to the harbor manifest. But it didn't get back into port until 7. Wait a second, wait a second. You're telling me Jesse's body arrived at the hospital half an hour before the boat ever docked? I think we should have a talk to the skipper of that boat. You know, see if he remembers anybody drowning that day. That's yeah, something you'd forget, is it? Kind of important. You'd think.
Well, it's not here. All right, tell you what. I'll let you buy me dinner. Sorry, you're on your own tonight. I'm seeing Claire. Hey, do you think that's such a good idea? Sure, why not? Because, Mick, all she's got to do is bat those eyes at you, and whammo, I'm sharing a trailer with Bobo DiBella. Joey, she's just a friend. I just don't want to see you get hurt. You just don't want to pay for your own dinner tonight. Two seconds. <laughs> that used to be my line. Gotta love the 90s. I'll even let you pay if you uh, want. Ah, forget it. I only take liberation to a point. Hey, you good. <laughs> this is great. So you decide where you want to go yet? I thought I'd leave that up to you. It's your town. <laughs> yeah. Not for long. Oh? I decided to leave Palm Beach. Too many memories. Where would you go? I don't know. Maybe California. A lot of memories there, too. Mm -hmm. Not all of them bad. believe you're doing this. Look, Claire. You're checking up on things, aren't you? Who asked you to do this? There's some things about Jesse's death that don't add up. Oh, God. God, you've got such a suspicious Look, mind. I can't just walk away from you. There stop are some it? things you should know. He was my friend, too. Yeah. You can't save him now. It's too late. He's gone. Look, Claire. You can't change anything, all right? We should just go back to California and forget you were ever here. Claire, please. What's going on? Talk to me. Hey, guys. Something I said. No, oh, this time was my fault. Doesn't look like anybody's here. He said he'd be here. Hello? Mr. Jackson? Yo, Skipper, Hank. I'll check below. Hello? Hello?
You know, you asked me if I thought something was hinky. Uh-huh. Something's hinky. Detective Hollis. I've been working on the Jesse Drake case. There's a case? Damn right there is. I just got word Hank Jackson's body washed ashore in Victoria Cove. Let's take a walk. How well did you know Jesse Drake? He was a good friend. And are you familiar with what he did for a business? Yeah. Charity work. You honestly think charity work paid for that mansion? and the six cars in the garage. The fact is, Jesse Drake's only charity was Jesse Drake. The Mother Teresa Act was strictly a cover for his import-export business. What are you saying? Jesse was a smuggler? Along with his partners, Mason Stark and Doc Wilkinson, they made regular trips to Cuba using the doctor's boat and Jesse's airplane. They're definitely moving something. I think it was drugs. You think? You ever actually see any? My informant did. Well, I suggest you talk with your informant, because I think you've been getting bogus information. Well, now, I'd do that, except he disappeared. Jesse's accident must have spooked him. I don't think it was an accident. What do you mean? The Jesse I knew would never have gone diving. He was terrified of the water. He couldn't even swim, but it doesn't seem to matter to anybody. It could matter to me. I think he was forced to go out on that boat. You want a chance to prove that? I mean, I could use a new man on the inside. Well, you want Mick to spy on Jesse's partners? Couldn't ask for a better informant. Ex-cop, old friend. Even Jesse's wife wouldn't suspect you. I got a better idea. Instead of looking for a new informant, why don't you go find your old one? girl I met on the beach told me there's a sweet little surfing spot about 30 miles south of here. She says, lots of tubes, no crowds. Sounds like paradise. Yeah, maybe later. I gotta check a few things out first. Hey, no problem. Nick, I'm sure that cop's wrong about this whole mess. I'm sure Jesse's not smuggling drugs. Hey, I know it. Seems like I'm the only one that cares about it. No one's working to clear Jesse's name. Except us. Yeah, thanks, bro. Hey, man, I promise we'll hit those waves before we leave, right? Ah, uh, no problem. Waves are waves. They'll always be there. Friends come first. I thought family came first. OK. Close second, then. So where do we start? Well, maybe we should do what that cop suggests. Check out Jesse's partners. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> God, you look amazing. Well, that's partner number one. Wonder what he's doing here. So, uh, have you thought about what I said? <sighs> Mason, you're really sweet. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really flattered, all right? It's just that. Uh, with Jesse gone. You shouldn't be alone. Um, you okay? Yeah. I just want to be there with you. I want to take care of you. I can't. I'm sorry. It's too soon. I can't be close to anybody right now. You're not even Mick Barrett? What's that all about? We may have this all wrong. Maybe Jesse wasn't killed over his business at all. Let's see where she's going. Come on. So, man. 
Jason's got the hots for Jesse's wife? Yep, but it's definitely not mutual. Yeah, she's sure in a hurry to get somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Claire always drove too fast. Come on, bro, I'm sorry, but you gotta figure she's mixed up in this somehow. <sighs> yeah, she's involved, but how deep, I don't know. Last night, she was definitely holding something back. Really? About Jesse? Yeah, Lori's business. See, there's something wrong here. You guys were best of friends. Why wouldn't she feel comfortable talking to you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't trust me anymore. Or maybe she's just scared. What? Well, if we follow her, we might find out. Let's sneak a peek, shall we? Yeah, we better find a different way in, though. So don't look down. Okay. You see anything? No, how about you? You told me not to look down. so hard? Look, I didn't know who he was. He's grown. Hey, I think he's starting to come around. Bro, you feeling okay? Ow! Oh, don't hit me! Oh, man, I had the strangest dream. You were in it, and you were in it. Sorry, Squirt. Somebody want to tell me what's going on here? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good question. Well... First off, I'm not really dead. No kidding. OK, I got that. Look, I didn't have a choice. I was being threatened. Most people that are threatened go to the police. Unless they can't go to the police. Oh, Jesse, come on, tell me it wasn't drugs. OK, I'll tell you it wasn't drugs. Come on, Joey. Nick, wait. Tell him. He just did. Now let him go, Claire. Don't you remember? That's Mick's style. Turn his back on his friends before he even hears the truth. Such a cheap shot. Yeah, well, that's my style. Just stop it, both of you. Mick, we never meant to hurt you. You don't need to explain about that. There is no explanation. It just happened. Jesse's been running medical supplies to Cuba. Against the embargo. Medical supplies? Yeah. Technically, we are breaking the law. But do you think those kids care that the penicillin they're getting is legal or not? We're not talking about cigars here, Mickey. Children are dying. <laughs>
uh, who threatened you? This, this cop? Hollis? Yeah. No. It was a snitch. Our Cuban contact, a little rat named Velasquez. He liked playing both sides of the fence. Blackmail. Oh, yeah, he offered me a deal. I get out of the medical supply business, and he's kind enough to take it over for me. All I had to do was disappear. He disappeared. I think that was an accident. I swear that's the truth. It was a diving accident. I wasn't even there. Yeah, I kind of figured that wasn't you out on the boat. <laughs> yeah, you know me and water don't mix. Velasquez's death was a total coincidence, but it gave me a way out. So it was his body that was cremated? Yeah. Wilkinson ID'd the body as me and then ordered the cremation before the authorities could check it out. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Look, you're not going to believe who I just saw. Cigar? <laughs> no. Havana's perks of the business. You really are a scammer, man. You know that? You haven't changed a bit. We are doing a lot of good breaking that embargo. Although I'd be lying if I was to tell you it wasn't a lucrative business. Yeah, I know. I've seen the house. Yeah, well, I can never go back there again. Since the time is right, I'll be heading for Cuba. And Claire? Claire will be coming with me. <laughs> so what's it going to be, Mickey? You going to turn me in? You got bigger problems than me right now. Somebody killed Hank Jackson. How much did he know about your business? Everything. He was our courier. Well, somebody didn't want him talking. Look, I hate to even think about this, but maybe it was one of my partners, Wilkinson or Mason. Were they both on the boat when Velasquez drowned? No, just, just Wilkinson. So Mason thinks you're really dead? Yeah. Wilkinson and I decided not to tell him, to protect him. OK. What if Mason was in with Velasquez and Hank knew about it? No, it doesn't make any sense. Mason was a full partner. I mean, why would he team up with Velasquez and Hank to blackmail me? Maybe he didn't want your business. Maybe he just wanted you gone. Why? Because he's in love with Claire. Well, I guess we both know what that's like, don't we? Oh, it took you so long. Come on, I'll show you. You're not going to believe your eyes on this one. Just a second, Mason. I'm not very happy with you. I was hoping you weren't going to do anything stupid, but I guess that was just too much to ask. Look, 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 Doc. I'm telling you, Jesse is inside that warehouse, and he is definitely not dead. But I'm afraid you are. Car. Leave it here. We'll come back for it. I'll wait here for you. Yeah. When Hollis finds out you're uh, willing to turn yourself in, I'm sure we'll be able to cut a pretty good deal. You and Claire won't have to spend your twilight years in Cuba. I appreciate everything you're doing for us. What are friends for? Claire's feeling kind of vulnerable right now. Look after her. I will do that. I know you will. I wouldn't trust anyone else with her. Thanks. Thank you. Doc, I thought we agreed you wouldn't come here. Something came up. We've got problems, serious problems. Better be there, Barrett. I'm tired of getting a runaround on this case. He's right over there. He said he'd be waiting in his car. Come on. body in the trunk, but I'm not jumping to any conclusions. Look, believe me, I've no idea what's going on here. The funny thing is, Barrett, I do believe you. You do? That's unusual. 
Okay, the two of you can go, but don't take any sudden trips. This was a sudden trip. Did he do this on purpose? Uh, one can only hope. Don't leave town. Okay. Look, Hollis, you need to find Mason. We already put out an APB on Jesse, too. Your friend has a nasty habit of not staying dead. Take a look at this. All right. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Hey. Where are you taking Claire? She was harboring a fugitive. What? What? No, Jesse's not a wanted man. Fine, giving aid and comfort to a dead guy. I'll think of something. Oh, I really messed this one up. No, no, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. Okay, listen, if that was Jesse, I'm... I'm really sorry. Yeah. All right, so now what? You know, you say that an awful lot. Hey, I'm Joseph P. Barrett. That's my job. Oh, come on, over here. Let's go down to the police station. I don't want Claire to be alone. Some vacation. Joey, please don't start complaining. I'm not. It's just, it's getting to me, you know? What is? Well, haven't you ever noticed that every time we try to go somewhere or do something, everything gets all messed up? <laughs> You're exaggerating. No, I'm not. We've just got lousy luck. OK, so maybe we've got lousy luck. Or maybe just one of us is unlucky. Me. I didn't say that. Just maybe next time we ought to try separate vacations. Well, they released her already. Did you try calling her? Yeah, machine. Barrett. Coffee. We're checking the dental records of the remains in the car. I let the girl go. Yeah, we know. Have you found Mason yet? Not yet, but we will. You were wrong about Jesse, you know? Was I? You even know what he was running into Cuba? Illegal medical supplies. You knew? I told you I did. No, you said it was drugs. Drugs, illegal medicine, it amounts to the same thing. No, it doesn't. Jesse's dead, and all he was trying to do was help some innocent kids. Something I think you should see. Those are just some of the innocent kids who took Jesse's medical supplies. The miracle is they didn't die. At least this particular group didn't. Oh, Jesse. Others weren't so lucky. Our best guess is kindly old Doc Wilkinson cooks it up himself. Not a lot of quality control. Nick, this is serious evil. Jesse couldn't do this. That's not Jesse. How can you tell? The jaw has never been broken. Jesse had a broken jaw. Yeah, I should know. I broke it for him. I thought you said that was an accident. Huh? See, I knew you had a mean streak in you. I love it. He's still alive. Was there ever any doubt? Wait a minute. Who's in that x-ray, then? Where the hell is Jesse? This is nearly all of it, Doc. You, uh, sure you know how to drive this thing? No problem. Let's just hustle this up. Claire, I thought I told you to stay below. What's wrong, baby? You leaving without saying goodbye, Jess? Nikki. You're good. And you're not. Dude, don't be mad at me. I'm only doing this so I can keep shipping this medicine to those sick kids. But this poison? You're killing them. What are you talking about? Don't listen to him, Jesse. I've seen the pictures. They don't lie. Do you know about this? Oh, yeah, he knows. I knew you were going to be trouble. Put the gun away, Doc. He knows too much. What, are you going to get rid of me like you did Hank and Velasquez and Mason? Mason? 
was his body in the trunk of the car that blew up. I had to. That idiot gave me no other choice. This has gone far enough. Put the gun down, Doc. You're in this as deep as I am, Jesse, whether you like it or not. But damn it, Doc, this is over. Not till I say it is. Him. He, he just fell. Please do struggle. I think you're right. <laughs> but I had to. Thanks. Oh, why? Because you would have done the same thing for me. Well, I'm not so sure about that, but uh, I'm damn glad that you're stupid enough to think that way. Bye, Ty. We'll be right back. Vacations is coming home. Good to be back. 
Oh. We're very popular. We got lots of mail here. Uh, anything for me? No, mostly bills so far. You know what? I can't believe it. I'm gone for a whole week, and nobody cares if I'm dead or alive. Hey, man, I care. Yeah, but you don't count. Oh, fine. I'll take it back. Too late. Hey, a letter from Jerry Madison. The cook? The chef. I wonder what he wants. I haven't seen him in 10 years. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't happen to break any of his bones on account of some girl, did you? No, I didn't break any of his bones. It was this girl, though. Oh! Hey! Next, on High Time. I gotta go get Mom and Dad. No, Peter, you can't go back in there. These people have been shaking down the shops for months. No! I can't arrest somebody because your gut has a feeling that he's guilty. I need evidence. Cops need somebody to testify against this gang. The sister's still alive. Damn it, I can't believe there's still a witness. You guys hiding something? Looking a little anxious, Red. You got something you want to get off your chest? What if I can get you a witness? My brother's alive? I haven't begun to kill yet. Stop! Ah! Come <laughs> on.